What's up guys, Offs TV here coming at you with a brand new video today. I'm going to talk to you guys about a little issue I had when I was a kid, and that's ghosts. So first things off, first things off, let's just get right into the story because I kind of ramble a little bit in most of my videos and that's what I'm doing right now, but let's get right into the story. So I had this friend, right, and we used to hang out almost every day. He lived right down the street from me. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I got glasses, guys. Check them out. So cool, yeah. Mm. Gang, gang, west side. Anyway, I had this friend, and we sang out, you know, all, all, all the time. And we decided to use a Ouija board. Now, I don't know if these actually work or if he was messing with me, but maybe this was all in my head, and I was just being irrational about things, but... So we used this Ouija board, and we didn't we didn't tell his sister or the friend that she had over. We didn't tell them about us using it or about anything that happened when we were using it. So we used this Ouija board, and pretty much there was like a like the thing kept on going in an eight or something, and it kept on going back a letter. I don't remember what letter it was going back and forth to, but it kept on going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So, me and my friend got creeped out, and we actually just stopped. We just, like, left, and we went outside to play some basketball on his little driveway goal, and, um, her, his sister come, he, she come out of his house screaming, and we're like, what's wrong, what's wrong, and she's like, well, we saw something, and we're like, what, what did you see, you're crazy, you know, and they're like, we saw this girl, like, and they were just tripping balls because they were like, well, we saw this girl behind our door or something like that. And I was like, I was tripping, dude. I was like, oh, we just used the Ouija board. But I did not tell her. We did not tell her. So I, I, I leave his house, right? I go home. And I'm home alone, right? Oh, yeah, that reminds me of another story that I'm going to tell after this. <laughs> I'm home alone, right? So... <sighs> You know how when you're home alone, you hear every little noise. You hear everything, man. And uh, I was alone. My dogs were outside. And I started hearing noises, right? So, like, I had to pee really, really, really bad. <laughs> and um, I, I wouldn't go to the bathroom. So I had to sit there and wait for my mom to get home just so I could go to the bathroom. Because I was super creeped out. And I tell you what, I did not get one inch, like one lick of sleep that that night because I was so freaked out, and I thought that something followed me home, and I I promise you, I'm not crazy. I have no clinical illnesses, no mental illnesses at all. But um, I was like, I looked up online. I was like, man, if I'm being haunted by something, and if I if something followed me out of the Ouija board, I need to find out how to fix this, you know, and how to change change its course of action. So. I uh, actually like, I was like, thy demon get out of here in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And I said that and it really didn't do anything. But anyway, I left and here late, like um, I'd say six or seven months ago, I realized that there's hand marks on my door. Like my mom didn't do them and they're really big and long and tall and I did not do them. So it really kind of creeps me out because it's like a yellow like hand stained mark and it's not in this house but it's in the it's in another house but it's just so creepy dude and the next story is do you guys know those things on Facebook where it's like yeah Facebook a long time ago <laughs> but um, yeah so one of my friends sent me this message and it was like a, an audio message and it was like I'm 17 years old. I am very similar to you. Did I mention to you that I'm dead? Hi, my name is Carmen Winston. If you are hearing this, then... I, I can't remember what it said. I'm not going to repeat it because it's kind of creepy anyway. <laughs> but it was like, if you, do not, if you do not forward this message to 15 friends in 30 minutes or an hour or something... Then you're gonna get you're gonna get taken by Carmen Winston, and I was tripping. I was like, "This ain't true. I'm not gonna do nothing." So once again, I was home alone, and I had to go to the bathroom. So I was like, "Oh God, well, what if I go to the bathroom and this thing is real? What if this one is real out of all of them? This is the one that's real." So I was like, 
Okay, so I sent it to 15 people so I, just so I could go to the bathroom. I thought that was kind of funny, guys. But um, anyway, if you guys want more ghost stories like this, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Because I'm going to be doing videos pretty much every three days or every two days. Or I might just throw something out there random for you guys just because I'm a good person. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and like. Actually, share it too because... I need my videos to go viral, man. Hashtag moving up. Might be the next Tupac of YouTube. Peace out, guys.